welcome back to software testing interview question series so today we are going to see one important question um which is commonly asked and this question was asked by maggie and she got this question from t mobile okay t mobile is one of the big uh, biggest company in us canada so let's see what is the question is so how do you identify areas for improvement in test automation so if you have given a chance like people will share you a test automation suite and if they ask you to go figure out what could we can improve in this test automation so if that is the scenario how would you answer it right so there are different uh, components i have explained here but let's go one by one deep because just explaining headline won't suffice you need to give the deeper explanation so first thing is identifying flaky tests so obviously when you have test automation suite in place you will analyze the last 10 days test reports and compare and see how much reliable your test suite is and obviously there will be some tests which are failing consistently due to various issues right and you can reach out to the team who worked on this test automation suite and ask what is the reason for them to fail consistently number 1 if it is related to the code issue then the first thing what you need to fix is process not the test automation because things are failing from 10 days and no one is caring to go and fix it so that means there is something wrong in the process of how people are working in that area okay you should start in that way that shows your leadership skills if there is no issue in the code code is perfectly fine and if the test are still failing then it could be due to application instable or that functionality instable that is where we tell and call them as a flaky test okay understand the difference flaky test doesn't mean that tests are failing without you fixing them they after fixing still they will fail because of you know can inconsistency of application or you know there could be multiple things so what we can do is you need to remove them from your test suite yeah that is important because that will every day give you the failure report but you might get a doubt what happens if you remove them you are losing the test coverage when i say remove you are just removing it from the functional ui layer but there is a scope to add and cover the same scenario in another layer of testing it could be unit layer it could be integration layer it could be api layer right see where you can cover this because you realize that this particular scenario on ui side is flaky due to the application instability then somewhere this logic can be tested that you have to decide where you can cover it but having it in the ui and failing it consistently or randomly does not give you any value of having there right so remove it by identifying the flaky test in your suite that is the first improvement and cover it in the appropriate place that was the first improvement we wish we should do if we get a chance to do it right and do remember to stress a point that if it is a code issue like automation code issue then it's issue with the process of how people are working and next once everything is good i will look into minimizing test duration and i'll again check the report and see if there are any set of tests are taking more than you know required time like some tests take 5 minutes or 10 minutes let's say there is a test taken 7 minutes then i would call that test as a bad design okay so i won't say test is wrong because test 7 minutes it is doing some nice things on your app but the way you wrote is a bad design either you can break the test or you can cover it in another piece or take some scenario of 10 minutes test and put in another layer so your test should be isolated but should be straight to the point it should not take much time but again it depends on application to application but overall if you have some 50 tests and if you see 10 or 12 tests are taking the adverse time then you should figure out the ways to reduce the test duration and you know increase the faster testing process 
because in the agile world if you if you have seen my previous interview questions series um you might get a one day build asking to test so that it goes to release if you have given 12 hours of time how do you test the whole application so for you to prepare to that level you should minimize your test duration and be very smart on your execution that means remove duplicates some of your test doing the same thing what other test does remove it or if you say data setup itself is taking me 10 minutes i have to set the data in different screens instead use the api calls okay if the data setup can be done through back end also through api fire api calls first so that you know data setup will be done in just a minute and then you will save lot of time instead of doing that data setup from the application ui side okay think about it the point what i told is very powerful now doing data setup through ui pages for your test pre request is very costly do the same data setup through api calls it will be very quick so that means you need to write a test which is a combination of api plus ui so bring out all the smart strategies but make sure you give the best time minimized time to run your test okay that is another great area of to improvement and third one fine so here we saw we reduced the time we removed flaky but what is the core point at the same time you should improve the test coverage so check whether your automation suite is covering all the tests what you have uh, i mean all the functionalities requirements are being tested so that analyzation is also very important so for that what i recommend is take the production bug report okay so you went for last release right there could be six bugs reported by the clients bring out that six clients report and see why these bugs are uncovered so why these bugs are not you know detected by our automation suite so that means there is some requirement gap try to fill that requirement see what requirement what tests you can add so that going forward that six bugs will be reported in your automation suite itself instead of you know figuring it out in any other way your automation should able to catch it right you missed somewhere requirement that's where we call as a test coverage so analyze it and you know uh, understand where your automation suite fall short and you bring those design new tests and address the coverage gap you know this is how you can improve the test coverage now just look at it if you tell all these ways if someone ask you how do you identify improvement areas you know you will get impressed even if you if they have given some coding program even if you don't solve it that's okay you know if you say something like this you know as a professionally with an experienced thought process people will still get impressed like flaky test test duration coverage if you still have anything guys you can add more and put it in the comments or in the qas like qa section and what additional things you focus in identifying the improvement areas in test automation suite i hope this help and whenever you attend any interview like t mobile or anything this time you are very sharp to answer this question all right so please subscribe to our youtube channel rahul shetty academy and we will go over many more important interview questions in our next session okay thank you